Hey guys and girls, let's talk about Mephrak. Haha, <laughs> that's the name of this channel. Oh, I'm so alone. I realized I have a channel dedicated to Mafrak, but I really haven't defined what Mafrak is, so I thought I'd try and give that a go. And after doing a bit of research, I realized it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Because Mafrak has such a diverse history, and so many things contributing to it, it would be folly to try and summarize everything in this one video, but I will try and give a little introduction to what Mafrak is. So this is great if you're curious about the genre. So over on the Fecking Bahamas webpage, this is a web page dedicated to anything math rock. They have this cool little section called History of Math, and there you can get a brief history of what math rock is. So I was curious uh, what exactly is math rock, and they define it on their website as at its core, math rock is the amalgamation of distorted guitar riffs of punk and hardcore and the metrical asymmetry associated primarily with the 1970s progressive rock scene. I guess they wanted to put there. Um, so yeah, that sounds about right. So you got um, you know, punk mixed with crazy prog rock going on there. But it goes on to say, yet in the past the word math has been used to describe anything dissonant in structure and has been applied to hardcore, mathcore, and metal, metal math. Hmm. So they have, so what is math? Is it a genre, or is it an adjective, perhaps? Hmm, that's a very good question. Um, but whatever the answer is, uh, we have some great music because of this genre or adjective. To get a better understanding of math rock and how it came about, if we take a short look at its influences, we'll get a better idea. So ranging from the 70s to the late 80s, we have punk bands such as Black Flag and Minutemen. Uh, I'd really recommend checking out the album The Punchline by Minutemen. Um, this one is recommended on the Fecking Bahamas website. This is a great little album and it starts to have that kind of um, yeah, uh, kind of angular rhythms and odd structures going on in the album and each song is like less than a minute and some really cool ideas there and also the black flag um, My War is also, that's a great CD as well and then we have progressive bands such as uh, King Crimson Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band and Frank Zappa so yeah we've got lots of um, you know, crazy uh, prog rock going on there as influence as well and then we have post-hardcore bands such as Big Black and Bitch Magnet. Uh, Big Black is one of Steve Albini's projects, and that was kind of um, part of the no-wave culture at the time. And lastly, you have the rise of Midwest Emo with the band Captain Jazz and their debut album. And that's a great album, very raw and full of energy. And it's no surprise when we jump from the 90s to present day that we see this rich variety of math rock bands that came out of all these genres being kind of mixed together and these new ideas taken in new directions. This is kind of what gave birth to math rock. So if we take bands like Don Caballero, Piglet, Terra Melos, TTNG, American Football, Toe, Chon, Covet, Meet Me in St. Louis, just to name a few there. Uh, one thing that you may notice about all these bands, if you've heard quite a few of them, they're all considered uh, in the vein of math rock, but they all sound incredibly different to each other in one way or another. So maybe this gives evidence more for math rock being um, an adjective more than a genre. But one thing that they all do share is that they all take influences from the aforementioned bands, uh, the pioneers, we can say, of math rock. So there's a, a quick little history about math rock there. And if you've just got into math rock and you're interested in what bands you should listen to, uh, some of the bands I mentioned I will put in the description and I'll put them by decade as well. And like I said, if you're interested in reading more about the history, then you can head over to the uh, Fecking Bahamas page and check out the History of Math section there. It's uh, quite an interesting read. And also their website is great for anything math related as well. So I think this would be a good point to have a chat in the comments section. So I want to know is what math rock means to you and what you think math rock is. Um, you know, it's got so many influences and, you know, everyone has a different idea of what math rock is. I think the common trend at the moment is people think it's uh, putting your guitar in a different tuning and then playing a lot of uh, twinkly riffs seems to be the norm at the moment. But there's very there's many different styles and um, you know, things going on within the music that make it so much interesting and such a, a diverse style of music. 
It's why I enjoy making content for this channel as well, uh, trying to work my way through, you know, what math rock is. And I, I learned so much just from making these videos for you. So uh, that's always good fun. So I'll see you in the comments section. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.